Oh, hello. What are you doing today? We're going to be shooting a 55 grain Fort Scott Munition TUI round into this blessed ballistic gelatin mode. Let's do it. Yes, indeed, family and friends, it's your boy True Exodus here coming at you today, sharing with you a little bit about what's going on on the old Yubatubi with the Fort Scott Munitions TUI, ra TUI round. It's such a tongue twister. I am a professional public speaker, although <laughs> not really good at public speaking or making videos. But you don't need to hear my life story. All you want to know is does this bullet do what they say it's going to do? Let me tell you a little bit about this bullet, shall I? So what makes this bullet so special, Barrett? It's a 55 grain solid copper projectile. It's solid copper spun. It's got sub MOA accuracy at 100 yards out of the uh, 1 in 9, 16 inch for this 55 grain. It's got a uh, FPS of 3,400 feet per second of a 24 inch barrel. Now, I don't have a chronograph that's working right now to test it out of this 11 and a half inch uh, Virtus from SIG, but neither here nor there, I do want to see what happens when it hits ballistic gelatin. So here we go. Look at that wound cavity. That's my hand, okay? That's my, the size of my palm. That's insane, I don't want to touch this. So we have a first tumble impact, a polymer impact, and then we have our second one, which kind of took an angle as it tumbled, and then it trailed down, and then went into the wood, and it's stuck in the dummy. That's so cool, let's do it again. Okay. You see how it started spinning right there, and then you can't, I hope you can see that. It's big. There's a whole bunch of like noise right here, some bubble noise. All right, so this is incredible. This is the same, I mean, darn near the same. I'm not, I don't have my ruler out here. The same uh, trauma that we have up here on this big first one. And you see how it rotated on two different axes and, and then did the exact same thing, but deeper into the thing that way. So there's those two solid spins out of your ammo. Your home is primarily made out of two by fours and drywall. That's pretty much it. From room to room, two by fours and drywall. Maybe a little bit of reinforcement here and there, but really that's it. And I'm gonna show you what this 55 grain is gonna do going through uh, this two by four, unlike traditional hollow point rounds that will get plugged up from these intermediate barriers, you're gonna see short ways and long ways of what it does when it hits. So let's get to it. We see the hole, right? Tiny hole. And then we see the devastating impact of the third one. Hits, expands. This is the, this looks like the best results. And then it just rotates up and hits. Oh, and look, it's stuck in our rubber dummy. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. What I'm talking about over penetration. A lot of people get antsy in their pantsy thinking that these bullets are just gonna over penetrate and kill little Johnny or Susie on the other end. But this went through, I mean, it did go through a two by four, hit a 16 inch block, and then just stuck ever so lightly, right, in our rubber dummy. But I just don't think that these projectiles, maybe maybe the 5.56 five, are higher caliber, but I just don't think that the nine millimeter and the pistol uh, rounds that we have from TUI are gonna over penetrate to the point where it's gonna hurt anybody on the other side, if there is anybody on the other side of that person. It's some pretty cool stuff though. Let's do it long ways. Now he falls, now you can fall. Straight through, and then holy but Jesus, look at that. Same, that's our fourth one. And it just, and then 
Oh, there it is. It's right there. <laughs> totally cool. Hey, friends and family, do you want to get hit with a TUI round from Fort Scott Munitions 556? Nope. Neither does that deer, that bear, that boar, anything you're shooting. This stuff is going to take it down. Go check out Fort Scott Munitions, guys. I want to thank them for all the love that they give me. They're the ones that make sure that my channel is up and running and continue shooting. I want to show you this ballistic test. I'm not trying to sell you on whether or not you should replace your trusted ammo that you trust and have confidence in. All I'm asking you is look at the data, right? Look at what's happening. Do your own data. We want to give a special shout out to Clear Ballistics and this stink bug right here for getting locked in. Oh, he's nasty. Oh, oh. Uh, anyway, but we want to do thing clear ballistics. It was just really easy to just melt this stuff down, have the mold, uh, you know, six hours basically in the oven, and then it comes out. You let it, you know, cool down for like six hours or so, and then boom, you've got ballistic testing. And look at the clarity that you've got, unlike with other stuff as well. So go give them a check out because they send me ballistic gelatin so I could do some tests every now and then. Guys, I want to thank you for your love and support. Thank you for your love and support upon the channel of old true exodus here. Big things are happening in 2019. Bigger things are coming in 2020. Uh, we're going to start revamping the YouTube channel, give you all a lot more attention. I know you guys love this stuff, so we're going to give it to you. But before we can do that, we've got to uh, say goodbye. God bless you all. Talk to you soon. Oh, yeah. True exodus here saying hold fast, stay the course.